hey everybody assalamu alaikum i hope you guys are doing great i'm doing so so great by the grace of god alhamdulillah and i'm back again thank you so much for staying thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for subscribing i so much appreciate so i also appreciate on my last video i told you that i wasn't my legs are not okay it's because of my weight and blah 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 and all of you gave me suggestions on what to do and what not to do i'm trying my best to take steps to take the stairs instead of the escalator or the lift at work and stuff like that and i'm trying my best to make sure that every day i try to walk at least 30 minutes or at least yeah 30 minutes to 45 minutes so thank you so much and i appreciate thank you so much for your concern and stuff like that so today i'm here for my fellow single mamas and i know i will first of all i want to thank you for being the best mom to your kids and for working so hard to give whatever you're giving to your children the best the best the best i'm sure any single mama will give their kids or any single parent will give their kids the best the best the, the best they can afford and today i'm here on a broad topic about single parenting and today i'm going i'm Anyway, sorry for that. I'm recording on a public area, so I'm here on uh, for single mamas who are working so hard to make ends meet for their kids. I just want to tell you, you don't want someone to look down upon you just because you have a kid. Our children, our they are our everything and they are our first priority don't let anyone look up on the look down upon you because you have a kid first of all they don't know what the reason you are a single mama maybe you you are divorced or separated maybe your husband died you are a widow widow or widow yeah uh maybe you got a kid when you maybe just finished and or maybe you got a kid and it didn't work out between you and your baby daddy. So don't let anyone usiacha mtu akuambie as in because what it looks like when we start dating a single parent in a kuatuni kama ngumu kidogo una you start hiding your kid kama mtu anakupenda you come as a package. The first thing you do when introducing yourself to someone is telling them your name and telling them I'm um, my proud mama of my beautiful boy my beautiful children my beautiful boys and girls and stuff like that and if you have one my handsome baby boy or my beautiful princess and then if it is kicking it's kicking kama inafanya inafanya but don't try to go there and try to shade your kid just because you want to start a relationship with someone ama ni kwa sababu unataka kuolewa and in the name of protecting this relationship una end up ku ku, ku shade mtoto wako is in like mtoto wako anakuwa is not more important this new guy in your life is more important than your kid let this one ne never happen kitu kingine ni wanaume wakikuja akuta uko na mtoto anataka kukuonyesha like they are doing you a favor for dating you hell no hell no you're not doing me a favor for dating me because i have a child it doesn't have to look that way and that's why I tell single mamas out there you do what you do mtu akikukuta anakuta you are somewhere else so that they, they doesn't underestimate you and also so that you don't become a burden to someone uh, again it's a bad thing when you just get into a relationship and all of a sudden you start telling someone to pay school fees for your kids ana hata amjamaliza miezi mbili that is a Toto, 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 turn off. So what for me, I usually tell my fellow ladies is that fanya kazi, fanya kazi kwa mikono yako. Let if someone is coming to your life, they find you somewhere. So that, ata in case, ama mfike like you will get married or your relationship is going to another level, the family doesn't see like you are coming as a burden. It's where si mzigo. Wasi wana ni kama wana kusaidia wa mtu asiona tu kama anakusaidia kwa sababu umekuja na mtoto hapana it, it it has it, it doesn't have to look that way and that's why i tell mamas you have to work hard ufanye kazi yako kwa mikono yako 
avoid e there is this notion enye iko with like this is what this is the trend right now if you are dating a man lazima sijui akufanyie shopping lazima aku 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 akulipie nyumba lazima sijui akubaiye nini he's not your father <laughs> in this case i am I'm, i'm on the boy child side this man is not your father for me i don't believe in anyone who is not married to me to kunyonya shati you'll pay my bills just for that thing no if i'm in if tuko in a relationship mimi na wewe it's for a mutual understanding si ukuja na baggage zako this is where we all go wrong it doesn't mean that wewe ni gold digger ati mtu akianza ku ati ukianza ku you don't have to ask for someone who is not married to you to pay your bills unless they are willing be or kama kwa roho yake yeye ndo anataka kukupea do like they see you are you are a head working woman unafanya kazi yako una and all of a sudden from somewhere because he he has he has the money for instance aone tu anaweza ku boost but is ku unakaa hapa ugoje like you just sit there and wait for someone to to do everything for you like you sit there and wait for someone to pay your bills and like you sit there and this is a baggage mtu asipokulipia bill oh agado ni tutigika na mtu taraje kirate hiyo this is a big mistake that you're doing cause utakuwa a slave you'll be a slave you'll be a slave kwa wanaume cause watachoka atakuacha ataenda mwingine atakuja but when you're confident and when you know how to do your things hautasumbuliwa sana na mtu especially ukiwa na mtoto pay your bills huyo first unajua you just got into a relationship and this guy is not the the, the father to 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 you, to your babies so you don't just get into a relationship and start asking for school fees kwa mtu na hata amjamaliza miezi mbili hata miezi tatu amjamaliza so if this man is coming to you they should find you settled they should find you moving they should find like a man should not come to complete you you already complete when you uko yeye akikuja tu anakuja tu ni kama bonus asikuja aone kama like there is a very big 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 or very huge difference ame make kwa life yako kwa kukua in your life no it shouldn't be that way another thing if in case you 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 are that single mama with kids and your relationship goes to another level like oh kalas sasa tunataka tuoane and there is that family of the guys they want to and like oh okay and amwana is especially for us kiku is oh you are right and amwana when they when it gets to that point usiende kujifanya kwa mother in law ama kwa my sister in law so that will fit in a uh, come uh, venye umekuja wasiache wasi usiwaonyesha ni kama wana kudu they are doing you a big favor ni mtoto wao amekupenda mmependana na mka decide mnataka kuanzisha familia so usiende kwa kuoshea nini tibeni we unaamka asubuhi mapema things that even you didn't do in, in your own in your own father's house unaenda kufanya kwa wenyewe ndio like you get accepted usifike hapo it's between both of you if the parents they don't love you if the parents are not okay with you getting married and your man supports them you walk the go unamwacha tu na maisha inaendelea utapata mwingine if that is how god wanted it to be and then watu wengine they are never we are never maybe uh, some of us are never cut for marriages like you you can be good without being married ama haikuwa mudurufaru ruaku eh? oh you are we are the rufaru ziam the person mwenye rufaru ruaku ilikunywa supu ha eh? <laughs> ilikunywa supu ama the the guy that you are supposed to get married alisha kufa kitambo na ujui so what do you do you stay there and start piti piti pitting yourself oh ni ni don't know who are god do ah maisha tu inasonga maisha inaendelea Mungu amekubariki you have kids uko na uko, and maybe you have a good job maisha tu inaendelea na tena kitu kingine it's not about the good job e don't ever forget if you have kids na Mungu amekubariki na kazi yote unafanya unalisha watoto wako that one should not make you kama huko job you should find something to do hata kuuza mboga hata kutakata hata kama ni kibarua unaenda as long as you're feeding your kids don't let mwanaume akuonyeshe otherwise cause sasa tena inafikanga stage 
mwanaume akiona ni kama anakusaidia tena anaanza kukua ni wewe unakuwa ni kama slave kwake it's no longer about the relationship it's, it's about what is giving you so it's like nipe nikupe it's 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 not about the mutual friendship it's not about the mutual kupendana it's about what he's giving you and stuff like that so for me i don't advocate for that for me i advocate nifanye kazi yangu hata kama nikuuza managu hata kama nikuuza uji ni, ni I, and then live within your limits kama you can only afford a one bedroom mnaka lala hapo na watoto wako ka hiyo ndio maisha yako kwa sasa kitu kingine imetusumbua sisi wa mama wenye tuko na watoto wa, wa, yenye imesumbua hii generation yetu hata sisi wenye wako na watoto na wenye hata pia hawana ni kuishi maisha ya wenyewe oh cuz and then social media life unataka kuonyesha huko kwa barabara like i'm doing so great na unakufa na huko ndani na madeni unakufa na huko na madeni na madeni na madet and what are, what are you so unakuta una mtu mali anaanguka like you fall anywhere cause what you are desperate you have debt you you want to show off you are living you know kama una afford scarf ya 5 bob jifunike hiyo you still look beautiful kama uwezi afford makeup just go natural unaenda tu hata mi na mkanga hivi okay haka magu kama no gathi na muturire gathi na mbere but tuacha kuishi tena maisha ingine enye atuwezi afford cause ina it's leading us to do things that you you, you wouldn't want to imagine of and then tena nikuulize would you be proud gaya to iragam i'll bless the work of your hands nega lazima wira wa mkoma anyu i'm sure if you're getting your money straight if you're getting ile pesa halal una lipia watoto wako shule god will bless you for that usifanye kazi sio don't do things god anasema atakubali the bless the work of your hands you don't want to give you don't want that chain of poverty to cross to your kids so you want to give them the best hiyo pesa umepata na sio straight na Mungu anaweza kukusaidia usilipie watoto wako school fees nayo cause they won't go anywhere don't buy your children food with that money cause itawaharibikia cause hiyo money hukupata kwa halal kwa kazi halal so itakuwa tu iki it's troubles after troubles after troubles after troubles so ishi maisha yako habibti fanya kazi na mikono yako enda ulime kwa watu kwa mashamba upate mia moja cause hiyo ndio Mungu atakubariki and when the time is right everything will fall into place we've come from somewhere everyone have had their own struggles akafika mahali amefika and don't let anyone to look up on you to look down on you usiache tu mtu akuangalie hivyo aone juu uko na uko na mtoto you can't be a queen you deserve to be treated as a queen that you are our children our our, our pride our joy and everything na hao watoto wetu like for me ni doge jirodo with my son nothing comes before my son if you are to come in my life you have to accept that i have a baby and i cannot compromise anything for my son i cannot ukikuja you have to fit in and that's it be that way mwanaume asikuje mbele ya watoto wako ati oh unaacha kwako unaenda una, unakaa kwa mtu 3 weeks na watoto wako umewaacha sijui wapi And it's not fair imagine mwanaume asikuje before mtoto wako hata the, the guys who are single dads let us let sisi wanawake tusikuje before your kids let's learn to appreciate our kids let's learn to appreciate where we are right now siku ya Mungu ya kutufungulia milango na ya kutubariki ikifika he will still open mashallah big 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 doors for us so much love and god bless you and see you inshallah in another video i love you so much and please don't skip those adverts it's just take a few seconds and then inaruka so wasalama i love you so much